Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of shell scripting for beginners. Now, in today's video, we are going to talk about the prerequisites that we need for this course. If you already have a Linux system with you, then it's not an issue. You can go forward and skip this video. Otherwise, if you have a Windows laptop and you do not want to dual boot your machine, we'll tell you how to install Linux in your system. So what we are going to talk about today is the first thing is how to install Oracle VirtualBox and how to download it. Second is a CentOS VDI. The Linux we are going to use is CentOS in the system. VDI is a kind of a file which is known as virtual desktop infrastructure. You also need a good internet, internet because you need to download this file which is more than 1 GB and Oracle VirtualBox is less, somewhat less MBs but you need a proper internet. It's, good. it's a good thing to have. And then we'll talk about how to install and configure the mentioned software. So all of these software, how to install them, how to download them and how to configure them. We'll talk about everything. So before moving forward in this video, if you, if you guys have not subscribed my channel yet, kindly do so. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video. So first of all, go to your favorite browser. And then type Oracle VirtualBox for Windows. We have a Windows machine, so we'll install that. Click on the first link and in the meantime, I'll just type osboxes.org. This is the website you need to know in order to download the VDI. Perfect. Click on Windows host 6.1.26 is the latest version at the time of recording of this video. It will download it. Let's go to osboxes.org. Now once done, click on VM images and VirtualBox images. Once done, this is a pop-up, this is just an ad. You can close this and you can scroll down. So there are multiple options available over here like Android x86 and we have to download the CentOS. But I'll just walk you through for the other options. Yeah, you can see Ubuntu, Pair Linux, Cube, Sabian, Ubuntu. You can download this as well. But this whole course is concentrated for CentOS only. So we'll download CentOS only. Perfect, just click on VirtualBox VDI image, that's all. And you can come down. There are multiple options, 8.4, 8.3, 8.2, 8.0. You can select anyone. We'll just download the 8.01. So click on the download button, you can see. Its size is 1.1 GB, so it will take some time depending on your internet speed. Click on that and it will start downloading. You can see the pop-up says, says your download will start shortly. Perfect. Just save the file and click on OK. And it will take some time to download depending on internet speed. In the meantime, we'll just install VirtualBox. So let's just click on that. And let me just drag it. OK. Now click on Next over here. Keep it default. Click on Next. Just the default. No changes. Click on Next. Yes. Install. So if this is the first time, then it will have some pop-up for you. You have to click on that as well. I'll just show it to you in a while. Let me drag it. Perfect. Click on install. And that's all you have to do. It will automatically download everything. Click on finish. Once done. You can see this UI will pop up in front of you. Now we have to do every kind of configuration on this only. Now let's go back to our downloads. You can see that the 7z image has been downloaded so you have to extract it let me copy it and put it somewhere because it would be great that if we have keeping if we are keeping it in a folder instead of just in the download so i have created a folder in my c directory os sent os and i'll paste it over here that's all you just have to extract it you can use any kind of software i am using 7zip file manager you can use anything perfect that's all this, there will be a folder called 64 bit just extract it and it will be extracted in a moment that's all just go inside and you'll see a dot vmdk file this is all you need let me just make it a large icon so that you can see it well here as well perfect let's go inside and copy this path this path will be needed in the future okay now uh, let me close this we don't need that now go to oracle virtual box and click on new here you can give any name. I'll give CentOS because my operating system is CentOS. You can give any name. Machine folder, you can keep it default. Type is Linux because CentOS is a Linux. Version, you have to choose Red Hat 64-bit because in this drop-down, there would be no CentOS. 
that's all 64 bit you have selected next here you have to select the ram that you can give the recommended memory is 1 gb i'll give 8 gb because i have 16 gb next click on third option and click on the yellow icon on the right click on add and give the path which we have copied that's all select the vmdk file and open once you done it select it and click on choose that's all now create a vm out of it that's all you have to do now you can either right click over it start a normal start or you can just double click over it it will work that way that's all you have to do once done it will start it will start in a very small window you can hit just hit enter and go inside to do your stuff uh, i'll teach you in the next video how to install guest edition and how to create the size of a like huge size so that you can do at the size of screen so we'll teach you in the next video let's go to settings just make sure that you have selected in the display that memory is 128 mb this this is needed and the enable 3d acceleration and you have to do it when the vm is off I've, i'm just showing you for your knowledge now once you are here just click on enter and give the password osboxes.org i'll show you later how this password uh, where this password password came from just make sure if your vm is off then only you can make changes to the different things now if you go back to the website you select the centos 80 you can see info the username is osboxes and the password is osboxes.org and this is how we know about it that's all click on english and click on next let it keep by default by default english us click on next that's all click on next you don't need anything click on skip and you are ready to go once done you have to connect to the internet on the top click on the drop down on the wired off click on connect and you you can access the internet let me click on activities and click on firefox and let's see inter if internet works or not so i hope you guys have understood everything and if there is an issue feel free to comment below and we'll address that issue so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video